Hello darlings, welcome back. It's been so long since I've made a video. I think the last video I actually made was when I reupholstered the headboard. And as you can see from behind me, I've actually changed the color. I ended up finding the perfect pink lampshade behind me and it didn't go with the blue headboard. So I ended up changing it and I absolutely love how the bedrooms turned out. Anyway, I am so excited to be back here on YouTube. I have finished my nursing degree. I finished three years of study of such hard work and I am just absolutely so excited to be finished. It's amazing and I'm just so happy to be done. I apologize for any delirium in this video. I'm not feeling 100%. I feel like today I've come down with a really sore throat and my head's really sore too. And I think that's because this whole nursing semester, this whole year actually, and nursing placements, I have just been pushing and pushing and pushing myself. I've had to get through it. I can't miss any days. I feel like I would have come down with a cold if it wasn't for nursing placement because I had just pushed myself, pushed myself so much. And I think now that I don't have any nursing placements left, I've finished my semester. My body has finally said, all right, this is it, we're done. You're gonna, you're gonna get a cold. I feel like I'm slightly on the edge. I'm almost totally delirious, but I thought I'd film a video while I still have a little bit of my sanity left before this cold takes me over. I'm so happy to be back and I feel like we really need this catch up because there's a lot to update you on. Next year I will be working as a nurse part-time, but I will still have time for YouTube and I'm going to make time for that because I really, really enjoy making videos for you all and I just couldn't imagine not doing that. So for the rest of this year and into next year, I've got some really exciting videos planned and I've had videos on my to make list for years that I haven't gotten around to because university takes up so much time. So I'm just really excited to finally make some of those videos that I've been planning for so long. I've asked you all to ask me some questions on Instagram because we need to catch up. It's been a while. So the first question is from Lily, my childhood best friend. How's the wedding planning going? Love you. I love you too, Lily. <laughs> the wedding planning is going, actually, I was about to say it's going really, really well. That's not true. I've had no time to do any wedding planning. I bought a gorgeous little wedding planner book and I have not actually filled out anything in it. I'm so excited to fill it out and go through and plan out everything. I have a Pinterest board of lots of images that I'm going to use for inspiration for the wedding, but otherwise I have not planned anything really. I have a rough idea about everything, but now that uni's finished, I can deep dive into all of that planning. And as I've mentioned before, I am going to be recording this whole process. There will be a wedding planning series that I'll be sharing with you. The first part will probably be up in December, I would say, because I'll be able to get some more footage and have planned a little bit more by that time. There were also quite a few questions about the wedding planning and some asking when the date is for the wedding. We're thinking October next year. So that's spring for us in Australia. I've got so many DIY things planned for the wedding and I'm gonna be doing some sewing and it's all very exciting and I can't wait to show you the whole process. Someone's question is how you met your fiance. I met James in high school and we actually met when we were 13 years old and we were best friends until we started dating when we were 17. Someone said, what are you most excited about working on in your garden? Honestly, nothing exciting is happening in the garden at the moment, but I'm just loving planting vegetables and flowers. I've planted lots of tomatoes in the garden. I've got cucumbers, beans, carrots, spinach, pak choy. I've got, I've got a bunch of stuff and it's gonna be exciting to have that summer harvest. I don't know how I've managed to make time for like little bits of gardening here and there when I've been so busy, but now that I've got all the time in the world, I am so excited to just keep planting things and experimenting in the garden. Someone said, do you know any people in nursing school that have the same style as you? I have not met anyone that has the same style as me. I've got a lovely group of friends, but they dress modern, so I don't think I know anyone, or even when I've been on placement, I don't think I've met anyone that has a passion for vintage style. Someone said that nicely relates into this, what do older patients think of your vintage style? Obviously I have a nursing uniform that we have from our university, so it's not vintage, but I still do my hair and my makeup in a vintage style. A lot of the time older patients will recognize that I am wearing an older style and it will remind them of their mum or or them when you know a lot of patients that I'll meet they were actually nurses when they were younger so it's nice. Ali Graham said 
Are you excited to see Ali? <laughs> yes, Ali, I'm excited to see you. Alistair is James's friend from New Zealand and he's coming over to visit us. So yes, Ali, I'll see you soon. <laughs> there are lots of nursing questions, like what specialty that I'm going to do and what nursing field I'm gonna get into. For my nursing grad year, I'm probably gonna be doing two different rotations and I think I'm probably gonna be doing surgical ward nursing and I'm not sure about my other option yet. But something within that field, I don't fully know what specialty or what area I, of nursing that I want to go down. I feel like I will start to get my feet a little bit more after a year of proper nursing. With our nursing placements at university, we got to do um, a good amount of everything, but we didn't get to try all nursing. So I feel like there's still so much to explore out there. My favorite part of nursing is getting to chat with patients and then seeing them from when they're admitted, when they're unwell and seeing them progress and get better until they're discharged. I actually did a theater placement, which I loved. It was amazing. But the one thing that I missed that whole time for my three week placement was not getting to chat with patients because when you're an anesthetic nurse, you have like the smallest amount of contact with your patient. Um, but otherwise, you know, you're there in the theater room the whole time that the surgery is happening. And when you're a scrub scout, you don't even get to see the patient awake. So that was um, unfortunate, but I loved, I loved the experience and I love that I can check that off and say that I've done that. But I probably wouldn't choose that as my specialty just because I miss that patient contact. Do you collect a particular vintage dinner set? I collect barrel wear. Um, that's really cute because James's grandma's name is Beryl, so I feel like I should be collecting Beryl wear too. I'm not sure whether it comes in the one color or a couple of different colors, but from what I've seen, it's gorgeous. Um, the plates that I have, I actually picked up from the op shop and they are from the 1940s and I can't remember the brand. I will um, put in a little clip of what the plates look like. They've got some beautiful florals on them. It's a gorgeous dinnerware set and I was so lucky to find that for a really good price too. Someone said, silly question, by the way, never a silly question. Is your everyday skincare routine vintage? Thanks. Yes, my skincare routine is vintage. I use Pond's Cold Cream every day to take off my makeup. I use a Witch Hazel Rose Toner from Thayer's. Then I moisturize with pink moisturizing cream from Olay, and that's been around since 1952. So yeah, I like to keep it simple. I used to have such a complicated skincare routine, and I was always trying to try all of these new products um, but now it's just so nice just it being simple and you're not even having to worry about having enough space to put all your skincare products in in the cabinet and in the drawers i just have three things like it's great <laughs> someone said will you ever make us two or three videos a week love you <laughs> i don't think i could make three videos a week when i have made one video in the past one a week is more than enough it gives me enough time to have a balanced life and to make a higher quality video and then still have time for myself and um, for family without just using up all of my time another nursing question said hey sage are you an official nurse now love you yep i'm an official nurse i'm an official nurse <laughs> when i finished my final assignment last week immediately after submitting i got up and did a happy dance <laughs> i was so excited it was just a moment of happiness and relief that I'd submitted the last ever assignment that I'll ever have to do. That was just so exciting. And that I'm officially done and I'm gonna be a nurse. Someone said, um, when can we expect a new series of Dining Through the Decades? My wife and I love that series. Thank you so much. Yes, another season of Dining Through the Decades. It's taken me so long to get around to it, but what decade would you all like to see? If you wanna see something from the 1960s or way earlier like the 1910s or the 1920s or something that i've already done like the 30s 40s or 50s let me know down below because i'm unsure as to what i should do for this next season i've got to answer this question who was your first celebrity crush i think everyone's got to leave their celebrity crushes down below my first celebrity crush was after <laughs> was after i watched twilight it was robert pattinson edward cullen he was my he was my crush. He won my heart. It's hilarious looking back on that now. I mean, he's still he's still very dreamy, but rewatching Twilight is so cringy. It's hilarious. <laughs> Someone asked, "Are you going to move or stay at your house?" 
that's actually the big news that I've been meaning to update you all on. Unfortunately, we're not going to be staying here, which is really, really sad. And I've known for a couple of years that we wouldn't stay in Granny's house um, because we're not gonna stay in Melbourne our whole life. I'm going to try not to be emotional, but it's of course gonna be really, really sad saying goodbye to this house. This is James's grandma's house that she's been in for 60 years. It's where James's mum has grown up and it's always been a home base in Melbourne. Um, and now for James and I, when we've done university, you know, we were lucky enough to live with Gran here for a couple of years and then she's moved back with James's mum and we've been able to stay on here for a bit longer. But now it's at the point where we're gonna be going back to be with family and we don't really need that home base in Melbourne anymore. We're gonna be moving back to the country. It's gonna be a whole new chapter of our lives. And even though this, this chapter of our life is closing, it's gonna be really exciting starting um, a new part of our lives. And, you know, going into next year, I'm gonna be a graduate nurse, which is really exciting. James and I are gonna get married next year. I feel like it's gonna be a whole new part of our lives next year and and ongoing and something that I'll be able to share with all of you here. We've really enjoyed the renovations and makeovers um, that we've been able to do and Gran has just been so amazing with just letting us do whatever we want to the house. Thank you, Granny. I've got all of those wonderful videos to look back on of what we did to the house and all of the lovely memories that we have here. And hopefully you've all enjoyed that process too. And by no means is YouTube ending for me. It's still gonna continue. And I'm gonna have some really exciting future renovations and makeovers next year because we're gonna be doing up the place that we're gonna be living in. It's a bit bittersweet that we're leaving and moving on, moving away from the city, but hopefully there's a whole new amazing part of our lives that is yet to come. Yeah, that's the big news, the big life updates that I've wanted to catch you all up on. It hasn't been a secret, but I've been sitting on this for a little while and it's felt weird not, not talking about it, even though I've known that it's been coming for a while. Um, but yeah, really excited to be closer to family because you know, where we are now, we're in another state. And so if we were to drive back, it would take two full days to drive back. And if we do a plane trip, it's two hours plus traveling to the airport and traveling back. So like in total, maybe like four hours. James and I are gonna be able to be in our little nephew's life. What I'm trying to say is it's gonna be lovely being closer to family. And especially as a lot of people in our lives are getting older, it's really important to be there and um, to be close and to be a part of their lives. Really looking forward to next year and we're gonna be sad to be leaving this year behind, but so excited for the future. Thank you everyone for sending in your questions. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question. Um, I just thought that it was important to do a bit of an update video. so you know where I've been and I want to hear about everyone else. I've pretty much disappeared off the face of the earth for a little bit too long. Let me know how you all are and um, if I've missed out on anything important while I've been gone and get ready for regular videos every week and some really exciting things planned. So yeah, I love you all and I'll see you next week. Bye. I'm already on a jibber jabber streak. I'm already sweating. My, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, I feel so sick. Anyway, hello darling. My head. Ended up reupholstering, 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 reupholstering. What? <laughs>